Get in on the action and make your bet with Sports Interaction. With competitive odds, the best live in play, and more ways to get into the game. Make your next bet with Sports Interaction. Head to sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN or download the app to get started. 19 plus. Please play responsibly. Okay, before we get to some other news and notes around the league, I have another Leafs question for you. Mm -hmm. Ryan Reeves, there seems to be a debate about his usage and his importance to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Like he's, he's a guy who seems to be good in the room. He's going to try to, you know, show off the knuckles every now and again. He's already gotten to a couple scraps. He is not an analytics darling. But then again, he was never supposed to be an analytics darling. I believe uh, the Jesse Blake sports report, uh, their latest episode, they uh, address the Ryan Reeves debate. Where do you stand on Ryan Reeves, the Toronto Maple Leaf, and his contributions to the team? Well, anyone who's like measuring his contributions by the expected goals metric or Corsi or anything, and, and look at, I'm not anti-analytics in any way, but I think Ryan Reeves has played, what, almost 900 games in the league, I believe. <laughs> like, we all know what he is. I, I, the Leafs didn't bring him in to make their fourth line have more opportunity at scoring goals. So... I think it's pretty clear the swagger he brings. It's pretty clear that he's willing to take care of team teammates on the ice when the situation calls for it. He's a big personality. He's pointing at his biceps on opening night and getting a reaction in the Leafs management box from Brad Trilliving. Like he's here in Toronto to do a specific job. And I think he's doing it now, whether or not that matters or will matter. Like, I don't, I, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I, I do think it's it's worth saying that if you're not going to change the Leafs core, which obviously they didn't do in the off season, it's not to me completely irrational to try to do things that might bring something new out of the group. Because if if you're basically going back into the another season with the same group, you're looking for answers around that group. And and there's so much focus even today on like I, I get questions when I do radio hits and stuff locally about like the Leafs third line isn't scoring any goals. So it's like, okay, the Leafs have 13 goals through three games. So scoring is not a problem for this team. Uh, do you know what the problem is? They've also allowed 13 goals through three games. I mean, I think yeah, ultimately they're, well, it just, especially early in the year, they're not the only team and, and maybe the goaltending has been a bit off. Like I'm not, I'm not sounding any alarms yet on the group, but I think to me, management didn't look at this team and say, we've got to bring in like, third and fourth tier scoring options. I think they're trying to bring in players who do some different things. And Ryan Reeves unquestionably does that. Obviously the length of the contract for the kind of player is that the AG is a three-year deal uh, over a million dollars per year. Like that, I think you can debate like, wow, that's that, that was more than I think most people thought he would get, but yes, but, but I, if I'm willing to, to put that aside, I, I think it's, I think it's a smart play to, to see what happens here. And I, I guess the elephant in the room would be if, if he ends up playing on a line that's completely caved in that the Leafs can't even put out there because they're having so many chances or goals against, then it's a problem. But I, I think so far in the season, yes, the expected goal metric is not strong, um, but he's fighting. He's bringing life to the game. He's bringing life to his teammates. I think he's pushing some people behind the scenes out of their comfort zones. We'll see how that pays off, but that's the bet or that's, that's the, that was the triangulation. That was the thought of signing him with the Maple Leaf. So I've got no issue with the player. I think that he's brings a little different spice to the team. And the one thing I'd say about his contract is that if he gets to the point where they can't put him on the ice, whether it's this season, next season, or the year after, there are other ways to get rid of the, the deal. I, I bet he's a really fun quote. Huh? I'm jealous. Oh man. He's a huge personality. And look, it's a long season, right? Like I, I think we have to keep in mind, like you need, different people to spice up a group to and the Leafs have tried this with lots of players in the past right they signed Joe Thornton who brought a certain element they you know they've they, they've they've done they've attempted to make this work but I I think after three games which is where we're recording now like I, I just can't comment too deeply on whether it's working or not I mean I, I think he's I think Ryan Reeves is doing exactly what Ryan Reeves has done the fact he's almost at 900 career games tells you that what he does and has done is valuable to lots of different teams. You know, he's played in St. Louis, Pittsburgh, Vegas, the Rangers and the wild off the top of my head. 
So lots of different organizations have found what he does appealing, have, have traded for him or signed him to, to free agent deals. And I don't think it's crazy for the Leafs to try to, to build a team that maybe is a little bit better at chaos. You know, I, I, and, and I know all the counter arguments, like someone right now is like walking their dog, listening to this Julian. And they're like, yeah, but he won't be able to play in the playoffs. You won't be able to trust him and blah, 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 blah. I do think the Leafs need to build a team with more backbone when it comes to those tough playoff games. And that doesn't necessarily mean fighting. Obviously there's not a ton of fighting in today's game, but I think that they need more of an edge. I think you saw that certainly if you want to go on narratives, Florida and Vegas had lots of players that kind of, you know, excelled at what we might call the dark arts, you know, getting away with things, you know, playing tough, playing on the line. Um, you know, I think Ryan Reeves can help the Leafs in that regard. It's never about one player. It's about getting a team that's willing to do that. Ultimately you want your top players to have a certain, like they're not going away kind of resilience and to their game. And so I think that the Leafs are trying to build that culture in part with a player like Ryan Reeves, who might be one of the biggest personalities in the whole league. All right. Uh, 79 more games to go for the Toronto Maple Leafs and uh, more opportunities. But I don't hate the signing. I got to say that like, like everywhere I go, I I feel like it's everybody else is saying, this is a horrible signing. I don't hate the signing. I think the Leafs can use a little bit of chaos. Like I think a bit of fights and stuff like that after scrums. Like I think they have to get used to that because that stuff all happens in the playoffs and the, the proof will be in the pudding, so to speak over, you know, many months from now. But I, I think that you're going to see just knowing Brad true living's past and, and history. I think you're going to see more of that. I think the blue line will look a lot different and they're going to bring in more players that can play in that certain style to try to help them have success.